There's a gastronomic invasion all around our nation, changing the eating scene. Good old British grub served in the local pub has now given way to international cuisine. I've eaten coarse Belgian pate, washed it down with latte, tasted many strongly flavoured dips. I've sampled olives with ciabatta, washed down with bottled water. Farewell, good old fish and chips. Farewell, good old fish and chips. We no longer eat plain bread, we've loads more choice instead, like brioche, baps and bagel. Baguette to meat along, or a simple French croissant, can be found on the British breakfast table. Down at the local deli, the cheese is awfully smelly, with continental varieties for sale. Gorgonzola and Gruyere, Danish blue and camembert, farewell good old Wensleydale, farewell good old Wensleydale. Among my memorabilia, I've a book my darling Delia, that says cooking can be fun. Forget the beans on toast, or a simple chicken roast. Try panini, tortellini, or linguine by the ton. For a little more ambition, and extra good nutrition, use a wok to make a stir fry. Add spices to savour, for that oriental flavour. Farewell steak and kidney pie. Farewell steak and kidney pie Now I'm not very keen on nouveau cuisine It's the tiny portions I just hate You might get one sardine or a single kidney bean Served upon a massive china plate Our beers have changed as well Now the bars have more to sell it's hard to stay patriotic For they now serve pills and lager Which makes the choice much harder And cocktails sounding quite exotic And cocktails sounding quite exotic So if you start to feel You need a good meal And have no specific predilection there's French or Japanese, Greek or Cantonese, from which to make a nutritional selection. And if you have to make do with a foreign meal or two, then at least it's quite safe to say, whichever one you choose, you just cannot lose. They make a change from McDonald's takeaway. They make a change from McDonald's takeaway